like you say, if you want to go a little more extreme, you take the backcountry permit up into the long range traverse. Now, first thing they do is they give you a test, around 30 questions. If you fail the test, you gotta hire a guide. If you pass your test, first thing they do then is they'll give you a, a transmitter. It's not a GPS, it's a transmitter. It's useless to you, but they know exactly where you are at any given time. Now, the park is gonna take that and they'll track you like a dog. There is no trails, there's no campsites, there's no nothing. You get a map, a compass, and a good luck. That's it, you're on your own. Basically, that's as extreme as you're gonna get. You're not even allowed to light a campfire. For so, God's sakes, don't get wet on the first day. You're in trouble. That is nasty. All right, guys, well done. Cool. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it was It was really, really good. Just came down came from down. Gross Morin Mountain. It took the four days. And what's really incredible is my 11-year-old nephew, Liam Gorl here, he led the whole group across the track. Pretty awesome fella. The group behind us said, oh, the boat operator said, I don't think he's going to make it. They're going to be back on the dock. And when Liam heard that, he said, oh, no, I'm doing it. You know, it just it reinforces that you really can do anything. It's just breathtaking. It's just very spiritual. It's just fabulous being out there. It really is. It's one, you just get, you know, there's no gadgets. There's no, you know, iPod, no TV, no PS3. There's none of that. It's just, it's just really nice. It's very nice. That's what, what, what I'd like to oh. do. That's what you get to say on the first day after you climb to the top. So that in itself is. You need to have some type of pants, either rain pants or something to keep the bugs off. In case it's cold, because it can get pretty cold, you need type of fleece or something like that. Extra socks. I'm not going to show you my underwear. And a lot of our stuff in the bottom will be our garbage because we t everything we take in, we take out. We don't leave anything on the campsite. It's very well maintained and it's just, uh, it's been painfully wonderful.